That is one insane waterfall. Selgeland Foss Waterfall. You can go behind because it has a cave. This waterfall is over 197 feet tall. After that, we'll grab a bite to eat, check out the gift shop, drink some coffee, and head towards another epic waterfall in Iceland. Before we're off to that waterfall, Kaylee finds an awesome hidden pool slash hot springs, but it ends up not being as hot as we would like, so it's only a quick dip before we carry on. Just pull over on the side of the road and we hike up into this little gnome cave type church. It's amazing. That's the cool stuff. It's beautiful. It's, it's windy. Imagine that. How <laughs> is your trip? It's good. Okay, it's good. Why? It's really good. Um, we've been a lot of cool places already. Kind of unexpectedly. We've just run into all the best places. And what do you think about this place? I think this place is pretty cool. Pretty cool to sleep right next to a fucking waterfall. I must say that is pretty badass and we did not know we were going to come upon that. So far on the trip, it's been absolutely amazing. Kaylee's a great traveler. I uh, couldn't ask for a better person to travel along with me. We have to walk to the top, man. We have to go to the top. And it's all the way up there. Bam! Let's do it! having a rough one here because it is 120 just got out of bed at 12 30 i mean i, I ain't moved no, very far you just got out of bed 20 minutes ago one minute ago but i was awake <laughs> at 12 30 and 
I'm getting melatonin or some sort of Icelandic NyQuil tonight because this is bullshit. I feel like we're wasting half our day. We're not though, because we'll be up till late night. It rained for like 20 minutes. And have this cup of coffee. Oh my god. Ooh, I'm not gonna drink it because it's really hot. Is it After the hot cup of coffee, Kaylee decides to go to the top of the waterfall. And I decide to go back down to the base of the waterfall for some more photographs where I run into a girl named Camino who has been hiking a trail and then she's going to hitchhike back That's to awesome. Reykjavik. Say hello. Hey, thank you. Hi, I'm Camino. That in English means way or road. And I'm from Spain, from the north part of Spain. Uh, right now is my second time in Iceland. And last time I came, I missed to visit the highlands. That is like the central part of Iceland. And right now, I've just arrived here. I've been hiking for three days from the highlands to here. It was like about 30 kilometers a day. My plan was making it in four days, but I ended up doing it in three because I'm too strong. <laughs> Where are you headed next? Right now, uh, I'm going to Reykjavik, and then I, I'm staying here, working in a horse farm in the north of Iceland. It's like a farm in the middle of nowhere with nobody, just the men in the farm and me working with eight horses. Eight Icelandic horses. Eight Icelandic horses. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah. I'm really happy about it because I've always loved horses and I've already worked with horses but not with Icelandic horses. And yeah, the thing I have to do now, it's like taking care of them and also riding them. And yeah, I'm really, really happy about it. Welcome to Iceland! <laughs>